Hi there, boys, girls, and squirrels. Day 652,000 of quarantine, and we're still playing video games and have yet to get a new haircut. Hey there, boys, girls, and squirrels. My name is Matt Stab, and welcome to Tales of Symphonia. In the last episode, I spent an agonizingly long time doing a puzzle, which I jump cut out for you guys. Just follow the blue butterflies. Just do it. It's okay. It'll save you a lot of time. You'll understand if you play the game. However, we did make it to Heimdall, and we have the Zyrocorn already. So all we need to do is talk to some dibbly do over here uh, that Kratos alluded to us, and he, apparently he likes Colette or something. I don't know, but he's saving her, and it feels really flip dipping good. So now we, all we got to do is get the dibbly dobbler from Heimdall, and then we should be ready to save Colette. At least that's the hope. Now, where do I have to go in here? Who am I talking to? Is it you? It's gotta be somebody over here, right? I thought for sure it would have been that. Oh, I bet it's over there to the left. Look at me flip, dip, and go. I know this was the end because that's where we just came from and that's where we saved from. So I, it has to be over here. Hey! A girl! Yeah, you look like a bossy boy zone. Are you the boss boy zone? You're, you're like the building that's furthest in, so you have to be the boss boy zone, huh? Hello. Yeah, dude, I guess you're right. Mana leaf herb, you said. Yeah, we need it. That is an important plant that we elves use in our magic. We can't simply tell anyone where it grows. Isn't there anything that can be done? Without that plant, a friend of ours will die. What do you mean? We have a friend who is sick. She has um, angel effect. No, no, it was Chronic Angelus, Chronic Angelus Crystallis in Officium. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> I love Lloyd so much. What? That's Martell's, so that's why Kratos. Of course he was over here. What? Did you just say Martell? And what about Kratos? What did he come here for? Don't worry about Kratos. Mana leaf herb grows in a region southeast of here known as the Lithian Gorge. It lies deep within mountains covered in mist. Show this staff to the watchman. Elder? I have no more to say to you, humans. Okay. It was so helpful yet abrasive. I guess... I mean, we probably shouldn't expect anything less from a village that literally will not let half-elves in and kind of despise humans unless they get, like, written permission from somebody way more powerful than them. So, I mean, I guess that's par for the course, but come on, good leader boy, elf master, dibbly do. Can you just chill a little bit? Welcome back. Are you leaving the village? Of course we are, because we gotta go to the Lidadidabadabadabadaba Gorge, okay? Yet another puzzle that I guarantee that we're gonna have. Where was it? South. Was it this? <laughs> I thought they said southeast, but I couldn't remember. Hi, buddy. It looks like you have an elder staff. You may pass. <laughs> What's that flower? Whoa, what is that? It's big and pretty. It's big, but it ain't pretty. Hey, Lloyd, there's one over there, too. It looks like they can probably devour us whole, so let's steer clear of them. But it looks different. Some might say energize. You're right. It's blowing air. Mm. Rain, what is it? I've read about these in books before. There's a plant which, when you provide it with food, begins blowing air. That's our rain. I'm falling in love with you all over again. The flower over there is blowing air. I'm sure their food is present in this valley. Yes, that would make sense. Um, Professor? Is it just me, or have you been ignoring my words of love lately? <laughs> if so, then these flowers may be useful for something. Yes, I agree. Per se, not you too. Sheesh, Zelos, will you just shut up? We're gonna leave you behind. That's my boy, Lloyd. Okay, I saw this chesty coal over here. We like it. Um, EX gem level four. Do we not have an EX gem equipped for everyone? Oh, well, we're going to give Genus a good old level four. Occasionally avoid receiving status effects, decrease spell casting time, decrease casting time to the same spell if the same spells are in front of the enemy. We're going to go ahead and speed cast just because we like giving him that extra casting speed. 
Uh, puzzles. Okay, now what does this one do again? Is it a bubbly boy? Yeah, okay. I couldn't remember exactly what it did, but I knew it had something to do with great boobly boys. Rare pellets. Cool. All right, bomb. So I think if I remember correctly, we can walk up here. We can hit this bubble. And of course, the flower plant would destroy us before we got to it. Let's go ahead and just wreck these things. All right. Good lord, these things don't hardly get staggered at all. They're just beefy. Beefcakes. Dude. Oh no. Sheena has some poison. We can use rain. Rain can cure that though, right? Rain, can you cure the poison, please? Dude, that thing is hurts. That does a lot of damage. We still got graded and all that kind of good happy stuff, but... Oh, I wonder if I was supposed to pick something up first. This flower looks sick. If we give it some of its food, then maybe it will recover. Hmm. Food, huh? There's a strange flower. Okay, so we need to find wherever it gets its food source from, which I'm assuming is this, right? Hey, it's Karima. I've never expected to find it growing in a place like this. You're right. It's a good ingredient, so let's take some. Yeah, it might come in handy. Oh, you mean it might be the food for the plant that we're trying to save down here? Look at us go, sweet ninja skills evading that enemy. We're supposed to give it food, right? How about the Karima that grows over there? I see, okay. I'll try feeding it. Feed it the fruit. Give it. Wait, we don't have an Amingo, do we? Hey. Where do you take me, friend? Reveal to me your secrets. Okay. Hello? Okay. Oh, good lord. Alright. Well, either way, now that we kind of have an idea of what's going on here... Um, we can go ahead and uh, jump cut till we finish all the puzzle pieces for this gorge and get to the story scenes And we'll see you guys when we get there I guess we could probably kill this destroy this You know why she died rain because you didn't heal her You turd nugget All you needed to do was get rid of the poison rain It's literally your only job all right. We're gonna have Lloyd cook get everybody happy and healthy. All right, we'll see you guys when we finish this mission. Hey, there's an a mango. Mango grows here. Don't these plants only eat Karima? I don't know, but we may need some later. Good point, Loiterinos. We're gonna take one. I don't know if it's actually gonna give us any benefit, but I guarantee you we're gonna need it. So, hey, more puzzles to solve, more things to earn. Okay, I'm trapped in a hole. Well, <laughs> I guess we'll see you guys when we get to the next Not point. Nice. Lloyd, are we there yet? How far is the storyteller, dude? I'm tired. Dude, you're telling me, man. <laughs> I, okay, I try so hard to get all the items and collectibles and things like that because I want my characters to be as powerful as they can by the time they hit the end of the game, but... Oh, this is exhausting. Oh, I line up with Zelos on this one. Hey, <laughs> how should I know? Zelos, you're pitiful. It looks like we can climb up from here. I'm sure we're close. Let's hang in there, everyone. All right, up we go, question mark. But there was just a thing that I unlocked. Was that... Okay, so the storyteller is on the other side over there, maybe. Or... What am I missing? I feel like there's a flower I just invested into down there that I didn't actually use. So we're going to go ahead and continue doing a little bit more exploring and we'll be right back. Oh, I think we found our storyteller. Let's get in this dang building, okay? I was going to panic for a little bit if he didn't show up, so uh, we're, we're okay though. Is there anything? You hide anything back here? Huh? No? All right. Bomb! Humans and half elves. Oh, you must be the storyteller. Can you give us some mana leaf herb? Please? I see you brought proof from the elder. I'd like to s 
just take what you need, but you're, you're getting all senile over there, Grandma, okay? Is there any, is there a problem? It's a somewhat difficult place. I don't know if you'll be able to get to it. Mm. We've made it all the way up here. All the way up to the tippity top of this mountain, baby girl. We'll get it no matter where it is, y'all. We'll just send Lloyd. <laughs> hey! Please, tell us where it is. Mm, all right, follow me. The leaf can be found in the cave ahead. Be careful. Okay, let's go, guys. Before we do that, there was a flower over here that I just activated. And I want to figure out what I'm supposed to do with it. So we're going to we're gonna try. Hello. Is this what secretly where I need to go? Huh? 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 Oh, baby, is this some secret path of glory? Or not? So what's the big deal with this thing? Is it a shortcut? What's the big deal with that thing? I feel like that was kind of pointless. Yeah. It's just over there. I don't get what the deal is. Okay, I was hoping maybe there was like a secret up there. Oh, that must be the cave. Ah, I see. You can enter it without splitting the waterfall. It certainly is in a difficult place. But the waterfall is split in two, so we don't need to worry about it. Because we had the rock that we destroyed. That makes sense then. Okay. So I did actually have to go up there. I guess that's not all bad. All right. Well, looks like we've got more puzzle solving to do. As if we need help with that. Oh, gosh. Hello, what are you? Are you the mana leaf herb right out of the gate? Dude, that'd be sick. Ah, so that's the plant. That's pretty distinctive. Yeah, you're saved, Colette. Yay! Thanks, Lloyd! I love you so much! Oh, good lord. What, what the? There's something here. Of course, there's a giant ugly plant monster that wants to eat our souls. Ew, that thing's got like a rib cage. A giant plant? It's guarding it. Let's wreck the Gino some cakes, y'all. Okay, I need you, my beautiful baby girl. Inspect the magic. Okay. Okay, how much How much does it have? Oh. Didn't inspect magic on it because she got interrupted. We'll keep it interrupted. Okay, this thing's got a lot of health, actually. I bet fire? I bet it's weak to fire, yeah. Dang. Don't get in my way. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and do a unison attack. Wait, it hit it, though. What? But we hit him with our unison attack. Is it immune? I'm confused. That's not fair! What the heck is your problem, plant? I just... You know darn good and well. You know darn good and well that you were not immune to that and you just cheaped the system out. Okay. Wow. Well, either way, we're going to wreck this thing no matter what, so we're good. Yeah, we got a thousand health left. Oh no, ten thousand health. Sorry, my bad. Oh, it summons little bugs and plants out of it. This thing is gross, dude. It's gross. Revitalize. But it's a full heal for everyone. I forgot. I love that spell so much. I don't ever remember using that spell in my prior game. It's okay. Just gonna wreck this thing right here. Watch it go. There we go. That's my baby girl. Blue Sapphire. Lloyd HP. Persea HP. Rain TP. TP TP TP. That thing was pretty tough. So this was the real reason it's in a difficult place. Oh, well, we got the plant, so it's all good. Indeed. I love how Lloyd is so gung-ho about everything. It's just so good. It makes me happy. Okay. There she goes. Fantastic! Whoa, whoa. It's been a while since she's done that. 
Yes, it has been a while since the herb has been seen in this world. To trace its history, we must first travel back to the events of the Olaf Uprising and the... Oh my, it's been a while since we heard a lesson from the professor. How could he be so careful or carefree about this? Regal, quick. Don't interfere, Regal. I was about to explain the historical significance of Olaf, Olaf Uprising. The Olaf Uprising. That was an important event in modern Tethyolan history. Please continue. <laughs> I don't want to study. Me either, Lloyd. I can't read fast enough to get through half of these things. Now, before we go back there, I do want to go back down and see if there was any chest or anything special that I should be looking for or finding or anything like that. So we're going to go do a little exploring before we return to the house. All right. Well, it looks like that was nothing but a hoax. So uh, we went on a wild goose chase for nothing because there was nothing back up there except for putting ourselves behind. So back to the old man's hut or old lady's hut or old... Uh. Hello. So you've made it back safely. Mm. You know about the giant plant guarding the mana leaf herb, didn't you? Yes, but even if I had told you, your actions would not have changed. I felt a very strong will from you, my child. Of course, it's for a very important friend. Floyd. By the way, have you lived here for long? Ah, yes, I am the one who passes on the lore of the Oven Village to the next generation. Here, I weave various stories into the mana leaf cloth. What kind of stories? Legend of elves descending from the sky and the birth of humans, the rise and fall of the Balcroft dynasty, the arrival of Angles, the ancient Carlon tree and the Carlon war, and the history of the hero Mythos. Hey, 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 I thought the hero Mythos was a taboo in Heimdall. This is not Heimdall, my child! <laughs> I live here to pass on the legend without being bound by the customs of Heimdall. Just who was the hero Mythos? We hear his name everywhere we go. His name came up in the packs with the summoned spirits, too. The legend of Mythos was involved in curing Klet's illness as well. Mythos was born in Heimdall. He was an outsider who was cast out of the village when the Carlon War began. He ended the Carlon War with the three, three, oh, oh boy, I'm getting a little old, three companions so that he could return to the village. An outsider? Does that mean he was a half-elf? Mythos was a half-elf? That's impossible. Yes, Mythos was a half-elf. Only one of his companions was humans and the others were half-elves. They were treated as outcasts, but overcame that and put an end to the war. Then why is his name Taboo in Heimdall? It's because he's a half-elf. No, that's incorrect, my child. It's because the hero, Mythos, loved by origin, is also a fallen hero. Mm. A fallen hero? What do you mean? The ones who betrayed Arjun and used the power of the magic sword given by Arjun to split the world in two were none other than Mythos and his companions. Mythos Sigjusil, his oldest sister Martel, and their companions Ewan and Kratos. The four angles changed the nature of the world, and this is why their names are taboo in Heimdall. Yggdrasil of Crucius is the hero Mythos? And his companions were Martel, Ewan, and Kratos? That's impossible! Kratos is the friend of a hero from 4,000 years ago? Even an elf cannot live that long. Angles can use special combat abilities developed by the Carlod War. I mean, during the Carlod War. Once again, my old age getting to me again. Yes. One ability uses the body's mana to alter its metabolism and stop the body's internal clack 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 clack. If only I got my hands on that. This allows them to stop aging and become capable of living longer than elves. Why is my voice so screechy? Because I'm an old hermit. I think it's not good for one to exceed the lifespan of its species. I'm totally confused. None of this makes any sense. Really? There's at least one thing we know for certain. The power of origin is evolved in splitting of the worlds. And the magic sword, that's the key. Exactly. 
We must be careful not to lose sight of the true problem. Our final goal is to save the two worlds. Yeah, we couldn't control the giant Carlon tree. But if we can return the world to their true form, at the very least, we can reform the system that vies for mana. Yeah, you're right. It's a waste of time thinking when you have no good ideas. Wow. You guys are mean. Let's go to our next destination. Thank you very much for telling us the story. Ah, may the giant Carlon tree protect you all, my children. Yes. All right. Now we just need a mana fragment. I wonder if there really are any in Daris Carlon. I'm also curious about Origin's magic sword. That might be a key to saving the world. But it will be dangerous. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? What's that mean? It means if you don't face danger, you won't receive anything important. Oh, <laughs> I see. Honestly, Lloyd, you make me sad. But Zealous is right. Let's go to Crucius's main base, Daris Carlon. But how are we gonna go there? According to the scriptures, the Tower of Salvation is the entrance. Then we should go to the Tower of Salvation. There's one on this side too, right? What's Sheena's deal up on top? Well, yeah, there is one, but unfortunately we need my Crucius Crystal. The Crucius Crystal acts as the key to the Tower of Salvation. You know a lot about it. Well, I am the great chosen one after all. What was Sheena's deal on the top? I see, you were born with the Crucius Crystal too. Yep. My sister has it right now. She's in the abbey located southeast of the Toya's Valley Mine. Okay, let's head there. Huh. Bomb. That's so cool. Well, either way, we gotta find a spot to go ahead and park our little boote. Do you really have to do that? Oh my lord. Okay, Heimdall was the closest. We're gonna quick jump, yes. And going back out, no. Now we could save right here. All right, perfect. The elite strats, my friends. Either way, thank you guys so much for joining me in today's episode. It was a little bit of chaos, a little bit of hecticness, a little bit of glory. It was all over the place. It was just, it was a little bit crazy. Uh, lots of stuff happened. Basically, we are almost completely done with saving Colette. We just need to go to Darius Carlon. <laughs> and then she should be saved. Either way, thank you guys for joining me. If you've made it this far and you are not a member of the community, feel free to hit the subscribe button and join the community because we'd love to have you as part of it. If you have made it this far and you are a member of the community and you have not hit the bell notification icon, please, for the love of everything, holy, just hit the button. Just... Ding a ring. You can customize it to your heart's content or select that you want all notifications all the time. Why would you want to do that? Because we upload content every Monday through Friday. And we are going to start, I guess, starting the Monday just before this episode was uploaded. We did a little bit of a live stream. We're still kind of zoning in the time, but we're thinking of something like a 10 to 1. Um, just to get a three-hour session in. I think, we, I think uh, if, if I remember correctly, we're going to be playing Minecraft, but who knows? Either way, we also live stream on Wednesdays, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'd love to have you in both of those live streams. Either way, we'll see you guys next time. I love you. Toodles! Oh, wait, I, 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 forgot, I forgot something. What is it? What is it? I'm going to show my filthy little cake hole. I love you guys, and we will see you next time. Toodles! Whoopsh.